All right, kind of funny thing that happens uh, to Cave right now. I'm making this game here and the frames per second, well, it's a bit not very good. It's like 28 frames per second. And then if I play the game, it gets even slower. And I was like, bro, why is this like slow? What's going on? 15 frames per second. And then I realized something interesting. <laughs> Uh, I was actually using this scene before to, to something else, to do some testing. And then you can see here that I do have a bunch of rocks. Like, where is this rock? So I enable the rocks. And then it turns out that, well, <laughs> this rock here, which is uh, probably a bit of high resolution, does have um, 5,000 vertices and 11,000 polygons so it's quite a lot but it turns out that i do have quite a bit of them in cave and this is like not the end of it <laughs> oops and it's impressive that like i'm recording my screen i'm getting like 27 28 frames per second and like what it never ends Check this out. It's like endless. What? All right, so this is the end. Uh, apparently they do have like random rotations applied. And I remember that I was testing and I wrote a script and it is probably still here. Yep. So it's 200 by 200 um, rocks, which is, 40,000 objects with 11,000 polygons each. So, to do the math, I'm handling 440 million polygons here, and I did not even notice it. It was like, oh, it's a little bit low, red, uh, slow, but check this. That's insane. What? Yeah, man. I think Cave is capable of doing this. You can see that there's a lot of LOD going on here. So it's not hindering uh, very far away, but it's still like substantial. And you can see the level of detail changing. And it is impressive. What? Very nice. I can. Now I want to like keep moving here around. We <laughs> man, there's, there's a lot of rocks. Right, so let me delete this, go back to my scene, and just do a quick show off of what I've been doing here in Cave, because I'm already recording this. So let me go ahead and delete this. Bye. Oh, it is taking a while. No, I don't want to force it shut down. Took a while. Now my performance is back. Yep, 60 frames per second. And you can see that I do have a character. Oh, this does not have physics, by the way. I was just testing things. So this is the character. Can turn around. Just fine. I can run. Turn around as well. Can even roll if I want. And I can jump. Nice. And if I want, I can aim. And you can see that the, it is like respecting the aim. The character is looking up and down. And I can punch. There is a bunch of variations in the punching. And I do have different guns. There is no animation to swap between them. But uh, this is what I'm working. And again, I just noticed the rocks. So I stopped working on this. So it's not complete. But if you aim with the gun, you can see here. It, it does not shoot yet. But it works. And if I swap to the rifle, it still works as well. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, now I want to make this shoot. But I found that very interesting. That I accidentally had like hundreds and thousands of uh, rocks here being hindered. And I was like, 
I did not even notice it. I was like, all right, I'm moving around. Probably did not look to that direction. I don't know. But yeah, this is the project so far. I've stopped the game and showcased some Python scripting. Yay. So that's it, folks. Let me know what you think. Bye.